Rose Parks, Frederick, Harriet Tubman, they all wanted justice in other words, equality. Everybody's got a voice, everybody's got a song like Ida B. Wells. Well, let me tell her about her, y'all. I got some information for you. I want you to know about Ida B. Wells. Now, she's a sheet hero. She did all these great things and stuff for what was right. This is highlighted information, so hang on tight. Ida B. Wells, a journalist, activist, and more. She was born in Holly Springs in 1862. Let's go, but she was born a slave, not free like me and you. Sanders came up how and both their parents died, including her sister, so they got to take care of siblings and attend school. This didn't go well, cause she was picking cotton too. They didn't want their any racial mix, so she was freed by the Mesopotamian Proclamation at the age of 16. During this time, she found a passion for writing, so in 1882, she moved to Nurse to become a journalist. She wrote passionate editorials about listening to talk. This angered local wife, but she kept riding on to justify the wrong to show the evil in the hearts. To keep her name secret, she went down as Lola like a spy in the night, leaving unknown papers. Then in 1884, I refused to leave her seat in a car on a train in Memphis, Tennessee. She went to court but didn't know when it would end. The fact is it took three years till the case was rested in 1887. But the drama effect to stop her. That's why she became a teacher. She kept writing until then. In other words, it blocked her path because in 1891, they released her because she was black. But yet the flames in her soul didn't release until late 1894. She helped establish a British anti lift society. Her power was strong. Yeah, here's the equality. Got some information for you. I want you to know about Ida B. Wells. She's a sheet hero. She did all these great things and stuff for what was right. This is highlighted information, so hang on tight. <laughs> In 1895, she published Red Record, an outline article about the horrors of lynching. The way to write was wrong was to turn the life of truth upon. She was trying to leave them toward the truth so they don't think any more wrong about us. That's when the black people have been killed in the cold blood. With other formality of judicial trial and legal execution, we as black people have rights. The Rusty Diamond started standing tall and bright. I'd be well to the courage to fight. She let her tongue fly and speak with all her might. And the open she expressed. She expressed her right. Oh yes, she expressed. Sometime soon she got made her federal Ferdinand Burnett, an attorney which made her life striving even happier. In 1896. In 1896, she became one of the founding members of the NACWC. Yes, the NACWC. She's a part of the campaign in Washington, D.C., starting a winter campaign to stop the bleed. All these great things she did for you and me as black people. We know we get our work done. We're equal like rights. We get our work done. So that is how she changed the world. Her soul lives on your breast like fire. At the age of 68, she died. She died at the age of 68 in Chicago, Illinois, but, but, but her legs seems on. We say her name today. Thank you, Ivy Wells, for how you helped our world change that here was right. She's Ivy Wells. She did a job. She did it well. That here was right. She's Ivy Wells. She did her job. She did it well. Rise high. We're straight. We're black people, y'all. We take our stand. Here it's equal rights for all.